But this is the first time I've ever heard that there is a need to condemn. And say, yes, but of course they're suffering, but first we need to condemn. Are we out of our minds condemning the resistance of people who are being oppressed and killed, subjected to genocide for 75 years? Are we out of our minds? Are we out of our minds? Are we outside of our minds? When we let this ridiculous narrative take hold and spread and then participate in it, nodding our heads like sheep. Oh, and by the way, yes, there is a genocide going on and it's terrible. But first we have to condemn the Palestinians who dare to stand up. Palestinians who have shown an ability to sacrifice and amounts of courage that, as far as I can remember, are unprecedented, facing this horrific, horrific oppression. We've heard lists and lists and lists of crimes committed by the State of Israel, lists and lists of crimes against humanity. And there's always seems to me like there's a little bit of a sense of surprise, a little bit of shock, a little bit as though this was somehow not predictable. What we are seeing now in Gaza was not only predictable, it was preventable. And we did not prevent it. The previous massacre in Gaza was predictable too. And that was not prevented. And we can go on and on and on and on back 75 years. Because what could possibly be expected from an apartheid regime established after a massive campaign open, massive campaign of ethnic cleansing, massacres, and the beginning of a genocide that is still going on today. What could possibly be expected? That was the founding moment of the State of Israel. Close to a million people forced out of their land. God knows how many were massacred. And that was the beginning. That was, 19, that was 1948. So now we're shocked. All these lists and lists and lists and lists, there's nothing new about them. Except this time the numbers are higher. But this was predictable and this was preventable.